Hey, newbie boy, do you know who Tim Pool is? I don't know. Does he? Have, I want to swim in his balls. Oh my God, do you know how to swim in a pool? I don't know, but I want all the men named Tim to put their balls in my mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, you giant dork. I'm about to teach you about the Tim Pool controversy. Are you ready for it? Sure. Sure. Get, bring Whoever it out. Whoever that guy is. Whoever that guy is. Tim Pool. You may know him as uh, Tim Cass IRL. The, uh, he's like a political commentator, kind right? The bitch. beady boy, right? Yeah, he takes it in the butt. <laughs> That's not what we're saying here. So I, I'm fairly educated on this. So let me try to explain this as best as I can. And if you want an in-depth breakdown, because I have everything, let me know in the comments down below. Because I can break it all down. There's some really good YouTubers kind of processing all of this. So Tim Pool had a guest on. Her name is Eliza Blue. She is a sex trafficking advocate. So, if you remember Jack Murphy, you remember Jack Murphy? What, what, first of all, let's get back to the sex trafficker. Is she hot? Ah, do you really want to see a picture of her? Not if she's not hot. Ah, okay. So, she was sex trafficked, right? Eliza, <laughs> she Eliza Blue. <laughs> she Andrew be. Tate would very, very well. Well, that's approved. what she came on to talk about was the sex trafficking. She got tated. She got. <laughs> She got cinnamon toast crunch tainted. Oh my god, she's not attractive. Why would you want to sex traffic her? I don't know. Okay, so she was on the Tim cast, and then people were like, "Yo, you're on the Tim cast, but you were also in a booty shaking rap video." That seems kind of strange, By right? Wayne. Booty shaking rap video. Apparently, she was also uh, trying to marry. The lead singer of My Chemical Romance, Gerard Butler, or Ger Gerard Way. <laughs> Gerard sorry. Butler's no, not the Gerard lead singer. Way. Gerard Way. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The writer of Umbrella Academy. Yeah. So anyway, not the actor who stars in Twilight. <laughs> no, not not Gerard. Dude, yeah. we're so not good at this. Or three hundred. All right. Long story short, is she's a crazy human being who claims that she's very friendly with Elon Musk, and always wears Tesla stuff, and uh, was saying like. I'm a, I was sex trafficked, but I also did this booty shaking video at the same time. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So a bunch of people talked about it and a bunch of people said like, Hey, booty shaking. Why are you on the Tim cast twice, twice? She was on there twice. Apparently she's friends with the new booking agent. If you don't remember, Tim cast used to have Adam Kringler on. He was a co-host who uh, who Tim fired. And then we have Tim's sister, who he brought in, and Tim's sister, not happy with him. <laughs> a lot of people are saying that Tim is a co-grifter because he had Jack Murphy on. He refused to talk about the Jack Murphy grift, right? Until he grifted Jack Murphy. Remember Jack Murphy with the pineapples up the boot, Beta the cup. booty? Yeah. Okay, so now he brings on Jack Murphy Part 2, which is Eliza Blue. Eliza Blue has some sort of pull of Twitter, Pulls a bunch of Twitter accounts down. Don't care, but you shouldn't censor people on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. So now that comes back to Tim Pool. Tim Pool has been ignoring this for two weeks, but his chat is dominated by people losing their minds. So I went to his direct thing, and it's like Eliza Blue, Eliza Cast, IRL, with special guests, Time Pool. <laughs> I mean, people are just butchering him. And people pay super chats and he's going to talk about some of the super chats that are coming in. Personally, I think the dude looks a little under stress <laughs> and a little something's wrong with it, dude. Right. Was he more plump? No, he looks very thin. No, I know now he looks thin, but was he more? Plump? I mean, does not he look like underfed? Look at his teeth and his eyes are sunken in. Does he look like a healthy human being? I mean, a lot, lot, of, lot of drama comments. Let's start reading them. Jimbo says, so many came here to spread hate, not realizing their views and commentary help boost the algorithm for old Timmy boy. <laughs> you don't like it. Watch something else. Otherwise, you're clowning yourselves. Well, I appreciate the super chat and uh, appreciate it. And then I also I put up a poll and I said, smash the like button 
if you don't trust Eliza Blue? And 89% said, I will like because I don't trust her. So look at this. All this like a free Britney Venti, coward cast IRL. <laughs> Tim Plus can't these. figure out Blue's clues. His own chat has turned on him. They're like going at him hard, right? You get that. Yeah. It's kind of like our chat. Freezing these balls. I don't know why. That means everybody who smashed the <laughs> thumbs down trusts Eliza Blue. All right. Well, uh -huh. that was an interesting, uh, it's 13,000 votes. It's interesting to see that so many people came here to uh, uh, support her by giving us a thumbs down. Uh-huh. Well, I'm, 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 I can't Blue. say I'm surprised. A lot of people do support her. Or Scrotes Blue. McGoat says, last night as a member, if Tim doesn't disavow Eliza tonight, get the f out, Scrotes McGoat. You can cancel right now and see you later. You will never Wave money in my face and make me disavow anybody, especially someone I care so little about, oh Eliza God. Blue. She's been on the show two times. If you're going to cancel because I won't do what you say, you shouldn't have been here in the first place. Bye bye Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. So he just he just said that to a subscribing fan. <laughs> They paid That's money. Probably not a good idea. They paid money to be in a super chat. They're like Timmy mad. Tim thinks Tim's so witty and so clever. It's pretty, so it's pretty dicey, right? So look, all these people paid to talk to, to, they paid for these, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it gets a little spicier. All right. What else do we got? Uh, DJ Zeno says unsubbed on members only after over a year. Here's five FU dollars for, you know, I'm pretty bummed. Mm. Thought you stood against censorship. Hope you change. See you later, buddy. Look, sad to see you go, but. Uh, uh, I will never cater to a mob. And uh, that's it. End of story. Uh, Eliza Blue is not important. She's not important to me. She's not a member of Congress. She doesn't enact policy. She is. A yeah, except, bro, you had her on your show twice. Hmm. Like you platformed her and you have to pay the consequences, just like you platformed Jack Murphy, who is a. A cuck master, right? Yeah. A, a low tier internet personality that for some reason people are desperately obsessed with and I literally don't care. So uh, have a nice day. I, I gotta say this, if, if, if someone got banned off Twitter or any platform. Okay, so Ian Crossland says something stupid here, so I don't care about that. But then he goes and gives his theory as to what's going on. Like All I can literally, I own the website. And this past, this past uh, uh, week, we have gained mo slightly more members than we normally gain. And it's probably because the guests we had on last week or whatever, and uh, whatever, Jack Posobiec, maybe he, he's, he's a great personality. And so we, we gain several hundred per week. <laughs> There's one that was pretty funny. It was like Tim, Tim Pool Corn Pop. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember the Biden story about Corn Pop? Uh, a little bit, yeah. And about him with his wet legs and the hair on those legs. The kids used to touch my leg hairs because they were so, yeah. Week and we gain Poor, a little bit more than that on average Biden. with people coming in claiming that they're they're canceling their memberships maybe they are but we're gaining more than they're being canceled oh, okay. i think that many of these people i think two things are happening Listen one a lot of it's inorganic promotion of eliza blue a ton of content flooding the internet bringing up a personality no one's ever heard of makes her instantly famous to even the likes of you know nine-time grammy nominee john rich who's not heard of her that's the point. <laughs> so this dude is John Rich, nine-time Grammy nominee. He's like, why am I sitting here with this Tim Pool drama? What is going on here? I agreed to have my album promoted, but now I have some weirdo talking to me about Eliza Blue. What the hell? They want us to talk about her because they're being paid mm -hmm. to generate controversy. They either want to... That's why it doesn't matter if we say anything good or bad. Yeah. If we, say, we, if we say, look, we're doing the story, Shane Cashman's... Nope, nope, it's bad. Mm -hmm. We say, okay, we're not going to talk. Oh, nope, now it's bad. I think it's a, it's a, it's a PR campaign in order. Uh, I think people are being paid to promote, to promote her. Yeah. Keeps you in the cycle, basically. That's right. Everyone she's never been you. more famous because of right. this. Exactly. No, she's never been more famous because of you. So he put her on there and then people questioned her and then she got a bunch of people banned. So now it's it's a paid campaign. She thinks that people are paid to talk. He thinks people are paid to talk about her, even though those people are saying that she's was never actually trafficked. Like she's basically Jack Murphy. So wh who would pay? Who, why would people pay for that? I don't know. Doesn't Jack make Murphy's any sense. The best. 
Jack Murphy's the best. Mm -hmm. You still pay for his services, don't you? Absolutely. Would you pay for Eliza Blue's services? I would not. He's weak. <laughs> Eliza Blue is weak? Or Tim, who's weak? Mm -hmm. Are you still with us? Nope. Oh, the tequila's finally gotten to you. Oh, I'm ready for bed. Do you understand what we're talking about? Tim Pool, and he's fat, but not <laughs> fat anymore. He's not. Because he did a bunch of tequila shots and then sucked off his producer, uh -huh. who was clearly gay. And then they <laughs> that guy was a little weird. They adopted an sus. Asian baby for the tax credits. Uh huh. And uh, there's a conservative guy who doesn't like Orange Man Rad, and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Orange Man <laughs> Rad is the greatest. So he's like, yeah, I'm gonna do a video on. Um, Orange Man Rad. Orange Man Rad, yeah. And uh, all the tax breaks he gives us Supreme White Pizzas. So, you know, I think that about sums it up, right? Well, you tell us in the comments below. Do you think Tim Pool is done? Is he cracking? Is he starting to lose his audience? Do people think that he's a fraud or do they think he's a savior? He's a bit of a cuck. We don't know. Eh, he keeps posting. He keeps hosting cucks. I mean, when you have like... You have to put on that many audience members, and you can't just say what you think yourself. You, you got to bring in people all the time. You can't screen them. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, let us know what you think down below. Like, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you hate it, if you're a Tim Pool supporter and uh, you disagree, I don't. we don't have an opinion. We're just giving you the news. Anyway, we do have a live audio podcast you can catch it's on friday night 7 30 p.m you can also catch the restream of it on itunes stitcher spotify all those places and more catch it because noob noob is about to join he's about to go down a k-hole the tip k-hole k, k for k-pop yes Tim i will i will uh you know go to japan join a k-pop group goodbye <laughs>